Hello, and welcome to the Inspired Living with Ellen Broderick podcast. This week, our meditation is based on um, a prayer that I learned in 1979 when I was working out in Oklahoma with a Cheyenne and Arapaho Indian. The prayer was taught to uh, Regis Ryan, who was a Dominican priest also working with the same tribes, and he uh, taught the prayer to me. It's called the Prayer of the Six Directions. So its origins are in the Native American tradition, but there also um, are uh, connections um, to the Celtic traditions, tradition. And um, ideally, this is a meditation that is done outside, and as you are outside, you would orient yourself to the directions, what, which way is north, south, east, west. And the six directions are those four directions and also the heavens or the skies and the earth. Um, and then some people also know it as the prayer of the seven directions because the seventh direction is within, is the heart, is the divine spark within. So um, one of the things that this uh, meditation does is to reconnect us to the way that humans are tied to nature. And it calls in the spirit and the energies of the, it calls in spirit through the energies of direction. And it calls in sacred presence. It's a prayer of protection. It asks the creator to be a shield of protection and it, it, it invokes the intention that we move through our day in connection with the sacred rhythm and it honors the sacredness of the seasons as well. So it's really very rich. So if you're able to get outside and you can bring this meditation with you, that is ideal. If you cannot, you can certainly close your eyes and imagine each of the directions and go through the motions within. The other thing that is a wonderful thing to accompany this is to extend your arms in the direction that you are, that we are focusing on. And that's both extending in recognition of that direction and also in the uh, posture of receiving, so receiving the gifts of that direction as well. So you can pause this if you need to in order to get outside, or um, if you're gonna be doing it from where you are, then we'll just begin. So the prayer begins in the north. So directing yourself to the north, extending your arms out in front. Great spirit of love, come to me with the power of the north. We turn to the north, the direction of the sun at its coldest and darkest. Sage knowing of the elders, winter time and the elements of air, the element of air, we thank you sacred mystery for how you are revealed through air, through breath, through wind. You blow wisdom through the wintertime air like a generational seed that will become planted in the coming months of spring. Make me courageous when the cold winds of life fall upon me. Give me strength and endurance for everything that is harsh, everything that hurts, everything that makes me uncomfortable. Let me move through life ready to take what comes from the North. We bow to the North in gratitude and honor for the cover and quiet of night, for the inspiration of dreams and for the much needed sacred rhythm of dormancy and dark. Turn a quarter a turn to the east now. Spirit of the e who comes out of the east, come to me with the power of the east. We turn to the east, the direction of the rising sun, of new beginnings, of springtime, and of the element of fire. We thank you 
sacred mystery for how you are revealed through the wild mercy of every morning when the sun, our guiding light, warming fire and inspiration for a new day rises yet again. And we acknowledge the shadow side of fire as, we, as it can cause destruction. Our prayers and activism are with and behind those whose lives are being impacted by forest fires even today. There, let there be light on the path I walk. Let me remember always that you give the gift of a new day and let me never be burdened with sorrow by not starting over. We bow to the East in gratitude and honor for this day and all wisdom within this Eastern direction. Turning a quarter turn now, we face the South. We turn to the South, the direction of the powerful sun in its full growing awareness, summertime, the element of the warming earth. And we thank you, sacred mystery, for how you are revealed through earth, the primary inc incarnation, the place from which life is seeded and grown. We bow to the South in gratitude and honor for the work of this day, the particular purpose for which we each have been created and all of the wisdom within this Southern direction. Great spirit of creation, send me warm and soothing winds from the South to comfort me and caress me when I'm tired and cold. Unfold me as your gentle breezes unfold the leaves of the trees. And as you give to all the earth your warm moving wind, give to me warmth so that I may grow close to you. And turning a quarter turn more, we now face the west. We turn to the west the direction of the setting sun, courage and introspection, becoming and belonging, autumn and the element of water. We thank you, sacred mystery, for how you are revealed through the watershed, seeing how we too are meant to be held within the flow of the essence of life. We bow to the West in gratitude and honor for another day well lived, and as the sun sets below the horizon, the yellowed leaves fall to earth, we lean into the grace and wisdom of what is for us when we let go and allow ourselves to be in the flow. Great life-giving spirit, I face the west, the direction of sundown. Let me remember every day that the moment will come when my son will go down. Never let me forget that I will merge with you. Give me beautiful color. Give me great sky for setting so that when it is my time to meet you, I come with glory. And now we reach our hands down toward the earth. We reach down to earth, the holy humus that from which all planetary life is derived. We acknowledge that we are each guests upon the land of host peoples, indigenous communities who have lived here before us. And we acknowledge these people. For a moment, pausing and remembering who were the native people on the land that you are currently on. And here in New Hampshire, where I am, I honor the Abenaki people who preceded me here. And the tribes of the Penacook, the Winnipesaukee, the Ossipi, and others. Mm -hmm. We thank you, sacred mystery, for Earth's energies and nourishment for the plants, the trees, the animals, and humans. We acknowledge the inherent dignity of all beings. 
and the divine presence that is made manifest through the earth and all her regulating systems. We bow to the ensouled earth in gratitude and reciprocity. Giver of all life, we pray to you from the earth. Help us to remember as we touch the earth that we are little and need you. Help us to be thankful for your gifts and never to walk hurtfully on the earth. Bless us with eyes of love that come from Mother Earth and teach us how to use your gifts well. Now reaching the arms up to the cosmos, the heavens, the home of the planets, the stars, the galaxies, the creative cosmos, reach for the divine spirit who flares in all things and flares all things forth. We thank you, sacred mystery, for how you are revealed through the principles of the universe, diversity, interiority, and communion. We expand our reach upward, remembering and reclaiming our at-oneness with all things, all beings. In the sacred community of expansive life, great spirit of the heavens, lift us up to you that our hearts may worship you and come to you in glory. Hold in our memory that you are our creator, greater than us, eager for our own good lives. Let everything that is in this world lift our mind, our heart, and our life to you so that we may come to you always in truth and in heart. Resting the hands now over your heart and honoring the divine spark in our core, the presence of the holy within that honors the holy throughout. We thank you, sacred mystery, for your light, your power, your wisdom, your guidance that you place within each of us. May we align consciously within and without, and in so doing, honor you. In gratitude for all the directions, Thank you for joining today. You can practice this every day if you like. It's a wonderful way to begin and end your day. So if that feels good to you, um, share it widely with others as well. Thank you for joining and look forward to seeing you again next week for the Inspired Living with Ellen Broderick podcast. Have a good day.